welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will design a triangular rectangular waveform generator using an integrator and a summit trigger circuit with the help of multisim tool before going into this tutorial i request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below for more such videos the design calculations for the summit trigger and for the integrator circuit is shown in this particular tutorial now let us start the circuit design so click on source and select the group as all group and we have to search for the component lm741 and select the lm741 component and place this particular component on the schematic window we require to lm741 component now right click on that and click on flip vertically and click on flip horizontally now one would act as an integrator circuit and one would act as an summit trigger circuit for our design now click on resistor and place the resistor value of 270 kilo ohm and place this on the schematic window next we will place a 47 kilo ohm and a 1 kilo ohm resistor in series so place this 47 kilo ohm resistor and again search for 1 kilo ohm resistor and place this particular 1 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window next search for 250 kilo ohm resistor and place this particular 250 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window similarly we have to place the resistor of 20 kilo ohm and 6.8 kilo ohm on this particular schematic window so now place a 20 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window and we have to place the diodes so select this particular diode and place this particular diode on the schematic window which is 1N4001G so place the diode D1 and D2 next we have to place the resistor 6.8 kilo ohm on the schematic window so click on resistor 6.8 kilo ohm and place this particular resistor on the schematic window again place a 6.8 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window now we have to place a capacitor so select a 0 0.043 microfarad capacitor and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window now most of the components has been placed now we have to place the source which would be a 15 volt and minus 15 volt source so we will place a VDD and VSS source on the schematic window so place this particular source as shown in this tutorial
Now double click on PDD and define the voltage as 15 volt and double click on VSS and define the voltage as minus 15 volt. Now we have defined the voltage source for I mean the supply voltage source for both the LM741 op amp. Now let us make the wire connection. Connect the capacitor to terminal 6 of the op amp and from resistor 3 to terminal 6 of the op amp. Connect the resistor R3 to R2 and from R2 to terminal 3 of LM741 and from R1 to the resistor R2 from resistor R4 to terminal number 6 of LM741 and from resistor R1 to R4 from resistor number R5 to the diode and from diode to resistor number R7 and we have to connect the resistor R7 to the terminal number 2 of LM741 and connect the resistor R6 to the terminal number 2 of LM741. Now connect the capacitor C1 to the resistor number R6 and from resistor number R6 to the diode D1 and from diode D1 to resistor number R5. Connect the resistor number R4 to resistor number R5 and the diode. Now we have to place the ground connection. Place this particular ground connection as shown in this particular tutorial. Now connect the terminal number 3 of both the LM741 to the ground. Now click on simulate, select instrument and click on oscilloscope. Place the oscilloscope, connect the channel A to the output of op-amp and connect the, place the ground across the negative terminal of channel A and on the channel B. Now connect the channel B positive terminal to the output of the second LM741. Now let us run this particular simulation in order to see the triangle and rectangular waveform generator. Now you can see the triangular and the rectangular waveform generator using the Schmidt trigger and integrator circuit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.